Now we shall study monotonic sequence or monotone sequence and the results related to these type of sequences. Now there are two types of sequences uh, which are considered as monotone sequence. First is non-decreasing and the definition is uh, simple so to save the time I will tell the definition earlier. First definition is let S be a sequence of real numbers and if so this is the relation between the terms of the sequence. S1 is less than or equal to S2 is less than or equal to S3 and so on. In general, Sn less than or equal to Sn plus 1 less than or equal to and so on. So then Sn is called non-decreasing. Actually, uh, why uh, it is not said as increasing? Because the terms may be equal. S1 may be equal to S2 or S1 is less than, strictly less than S2. If uh, the relation is strictly less than, then it will be increasing. Otherwise, it is non-decreasing sequence. And similarly, if we have this uh, relation as inverted, S1 is the biggest term. S1 is greater than S2, S2 is greater than or equal to S3 and so on. In general, nth term is greater than or equal to n plus 1 term. And here we may say uh, roughly the terms are decreasing or in other words, this sequence is said to be non-increasing. So these are the two words we have to consider. If Sn is less than or equal to Sn plus 1, the sequence is not decreasing or increasing. And if uh, this Sn is greater than or equal to Sn plus 1, the sequence is non-increasing or roughly it is decreasing. And a monotone sequence is either of these two types or it may be both. Now uh, that sequence is called uh, monotone sequence that is non-increasing non or non-decreasing. Now we consider an uh, uh, example of uh, first non-decreasing sequence. Uh, this example is 1, 3 by 2, 7 by 4, 15 by 8, etc. The general term of this sequence is uh, written here. 2 to the power n minus 1 divided by 2 raised to n minus 1. If you put n is equal to 1, you will get the first term. You see, uh, n is 1. So 1 divided by 2 raised to 0, that is 1. If n is 2, we get the second term. If n is 3, we get the third term and so on. So this sequence is non-decreasing because the first, uh, first term is 1, the next is the second is 3 by 2, which is greater than first, the third is greater than the second, fourth is greater than the third and so on. So in, uh, that means the sequence is increasing or uh, the word used is non-decreasing and it is also bounded, non-decreasing and bounded sequence. Now why it is bounded? So it is bounded below. So what will be the upper bound of this sequence? If you see this uh, S and N term, and if you separate it, 2 raised to n divided by 2 raised to n minus 1 will be 2. 2 minus 1 upon 2 raised to n minus 1. And as n tends to infinity, uh, the limit will be 2. And therefore, all the terms of this sequence are between 1 and 2. Therefore, this is bounded. And this is an example of uh, non-decreasing sequence. Now, if you consider the simple example of 1 by n, then this sequence is non-increasing. Actually, the terms are decreasing. Word non-increasing and non-decreasing are used because of this equality possibility. Or if you consider a sequence having constant terms, say 3, 3, 3, etc. Then what type of this sequence is? So it will be of both type because it satisfies the first condition, S1. Yes, uh, S1 is uh, less than or equal to S2. Equal to possibility is there. And therefore, this can be considered as uh, non decreasing. Also, it is non increasing because of the equality possibility. So, uh, that's why it is written both. The sequence is either non increasing, non decreasing, or it may be both. And thus, the sequence, uh, this type of sequence is called monotone sequence. Now, which uh, will not be a monotone sequence? Now, this, uh, if you consider minus 1 raised to n as n takes value 1 to infinity then the terms of this sequence are we know minus 1 plus 1 etc minus 1 plus 1 and so on the terms are uh, fluctuating or oscillating and therefore the terms are not monotone that means s1 is not less than or equal to or this, this relation or this relation does not hold for this sequence or otherwise if you consider this sequence say 1, 2, 1, 3, 1, 4, 
1, 5, etc. This term occurs 1 in between and uh, this sequence is not monotone. Both these sequences are not monotone because the either this the terms are not uh, steadily here we can say it is uh, steadily increasing or non decreasing and these two conditions are not satisfied for this sequence and therefore these are uh, sequences which are not monotone and these two sequences are sequences which are monotone sequences so the monotone sequence is either non decreasing or uh, non increasing sequence now we have a clear relative to this as a, uh, we consider this as a theorem and it is a theorem 4 if Sn is a sequence which is uh, non Sn is a non decreasing sequence which is bounded above then uh, this Sn is convergent. So this we have proved. So Sn is non-decreasing sequence. Uh, that is a type of monotone sequence, this type of sequence. First term is the smaller terms go on increasing steadily or steadily. That is the meaning of non-decreasing and uh, that is bounded above also then we have to show Sn is convergent now we shall consider uh, proof of this the range of Sn we shall first consider the range of Sn nth x value 1 to infinity is we denote it by a and earlier we have seen the range means all the terms of the sequence infinite terms are there s1, s2, s3 and so on since Sn is uh, bounded above we must have upper bound for this sequence Sn is bounded it is given in the theorem The set A is bounded. Set A is uh, bounded above and it has an upper bound. So, therefore, A has an upper bound. And if the set A has upper bound, it must have the least upper bound. This is the axiom of least upper bound. Uh, yes. Uh, therefore, A has an upper bound, so it must have a smallest member, and therefore it has the least upper bound. By axiom of LUD, A has the least upper bound. A has the LUD. And suppose M is the LUD of A. Let M is equal to LUD for A. And that is LUD of this set. S1, S2, A, etc. A is the least upper bound of this set. And now we will show the sequence converges to M. So we will prove that to show the sequence converges we have to show it has a limit and we show now the limit of this sequence is m the least upper bound so that will, uh, will be our next claim we shall prove Limit of Sn is M. Limit M tends to infinity of Sn is equal to M. 
Now, uh, to prove this, uh, we have to show according to the definition for a given epsilon greater than 0, Sn minus m is less than epsilon. Now, we again consider uh, the m is the least upper bound for A. Since m is the LUV for A, m minus epsilon, where epsilon greater than 0 is not an upper bound. Or I can consider for epsilon greater than 0, m minus epsilon is not an upper bound for A. Why this is so? Because m is the least. No number smaller than m will be upper bound for it. For uh, example, if you consider this uh, simple uh, set as uh, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, etc. And uh, so this is final set. What is the upper bound of this set? 10. All the numbers which are greater than 10 are also upper bounds, but the smallest is 10. And uh, if you consider m, a, m is equal to 10, then a number less than 10, 10 minus if epsilon is 0.1. Or that is 9.9 .9 is not upper bound for this set. 10 is the smallest, no number less than 10 will be upper bound uh, for this set that we have done. And uh, because uh, 10 becomes greater than 9.9, .9, and therefore we, this does not remain the upper bound. And that is, there exists young belongs to I such that. Such that this is not upper bound means some term of uh, A must be greater than this one. Such that Sn is greater than M minus epsilon or M greater than or equal to M. Therefore, this is not the upper bound. And now we have Sn is non decreasing sequence. So it is given. Now we will use that condition here. So Sn is greater than M minus epsilon or in other uh, way m minus epsilon is less than s n is greater than or equal to m uh, since s n is non decreasing and uh, we have considered the m is the least upper bound for s n Sn is less than m or less than or equal to m. m is uh, the least upper bound, so Sn is less than or equal to m or m belongs to i. So every term of the sequence is less than or equal to m. And this so we can write as uh, Sn is less than, strictly less than m plus epsilon. For m belongs to i. This holds for n belongs to i. Now we combine uh, one n, and uh, uh, this uh, it holds for every n belongs to i, or that means S n is less than m plus x term, or n greater than or equal to m. And now we shall consider one n. So from one n, what we will have is m minus x term is less than Sn is less than M plus Epsilon and this holds for N greater than or equal to N and thus uh, what this shows the last statement shows that the absolute value of Sn minus M so this implies that mod of Sn minus M is less than Epsilon absolute value of Sn minus M is less than, we subtract M, so what we will have minus epsilon is less than Sn minus M is less than epsilon. So Sn minus M lies between minus epsilon to plus epsilon and therefore uh, this holds for M greater than or equal to M. And what is this? This is the definition of limit of sequence. Given epsilon greater than 0, there is. 
So there is n belongs to I such that we have shown mod of S n minus m is less than epsilon for n greater than or equal to n. So this shows that or this proves that limit of S n is n and thus S n is convergent sequence. If a sequence has a limit then it is convergent and therefore S n is convergent. So this proves the theorem. Hence, Sn is common. So, this is an important result. A sequence, non decreasing sequence, it is non decreasing but bounded above, must be convergent or is convergent. And uh, we will use uh, this result to show the sequences are convergent. To show a sequence is convergent, uh, we, it is sufficient to show that if the sequence is non decreasing, it is sufficient to show that the sequence is bounded above. And then that will prove the sequence is convergent. So this is useful and uh, important result. Now using this result, we shall show a special sequence is convergent, and we write that as a corollary. Corollary to this uh, theorem. Using the theorem, we shall prove the result. So the corollary is. The sequence one plus one by n to the power n, n takes value one to infinity, is convergent. So we are going to use the earlier result. Now, what, what is the earlier theorem uh, we have? Uh, if a sequence is uh, non decreasing and bounded above, then it is convergent. So, here to show this sequence is convergent, we shall show it is non decreasing. It is non decreasing and it is uh, bounded above. Then that will prove the sequence is convergent. So, we first part we shall consider the sequence is uh, non decreasing. And uh, to show the sequence is non decreasing, what we have to show? The terms are actually increasing means Sn is less than Sn plus 1, then the sequence is uh, non-decreasing, that part we shall consider. And for this purpose, uh, because the power is n, let we shall consider Sn is equal to 1 plus 1 by n raised to n. This is the nth term of the sequence. And by binomial theorem, uh, we shall expand this by the binomial theorem. Uh, we have Sn is equal to expansion using binomial theorem 1 plus. Uh, see what is the binomial theorem we know. If uh, the terms are a plus b to the power n, then here the first term is 1. So it is a raised to n plus then uh, n c1 or which is n divided by 1 factorial a raised to n minus 1 into b plus n n minus 1 divided by 2 factorial etc. A general theorem and if the first term is 1 a plus b uh, to the power n so all the powers of a will be 1 and therefore first term is 1 the next will be n divided by 1 and this is 1 b plus n n minus 1 divided by 2 factorial b square plus n n minus 1 n minus 2 divided by 3 factorial 3 factorial we may write 1 2 3 and b cube and so on. The last term is uh, actually 1 n n minus 1 to the 3 to 1 divided by and denominator is this is 1 going to be 1 b raised to n. So this is uh, the expansion or binomial theorem. Now we shall use it 1 and here we can write n by 1 b is 1 by n again plus n n minus 1 divided by 2 factorial means 1 into 2, 1 by n square and so on. The next will be n n minus 1, n minus 2 divided by 1, 2, 3, 1 by n cube plus so on. And the last term I shall write here, so it is n, n minus 1 
and so on up to 2 into 1 divided by and denominator also it is 1 to up to n 1 by n raised to n, n power of this so 1 by n to the power n this is the binomial expansion of this term now for this expansion for k is equal to 1 to 3 etc the k plus 1 term is k plus 1 term on the right side now what is the k plus 1 term you see actually this is first term second this is third term and therefore for this is third term fourth term will be uh, likewise and so on so uh, k plus 1th term is, so we have to leave it uh, first term and consider the next uh, uh, n or we can consider, uh, yes, n n minus 1 and uh, so on n minus 2 n minus n minus k plus first term n minus k minus 1 so this is third term so 1 is there, 2 less for k plus 1, 2 less means k minus 1 divided by and the denominator. So, this is the third term up to k minus 1. 1 up to k it will be 1, 2, 3 up to k. And power of n will be n to the power of k. So, uh, this uh, will be the terms. This will be the uh, k plus 1 term. You check according to this. The next term is n, n minus 1, n minus 2 divided by 1, 2, 3, etc. So we have written k plus 1 term. And uh, thus uh, oh, this uh, is equal to again. We can write this term as uh, what we shall consider this separate 1, 2, 3, etc. Or we just k factor 1, 2, 3 up to k. And then for the remaining. We, th these are exactly k terms. This is uh, one first, these are k minus 1 and first this. So, total k terms and there are uh, n into n k times. So, divide each term by 1n. So, n divided by n is 1. So, n minus 1 divided by n is n by n is 1 minus 1 upon n. So, the terms becomes 1 minus 1 by n and so on. Uh, next is n minus 2 means 1 minus 1 by uh, 2 by n and the last will be 1 minus 1 divided by k 1 minus k minus 1 divided by n so these uh, will be the terms so this is the second term we have this is third term and uh, so on so thus uh, we have separated and we have divided by n now if we expand uh, Sn plus 1. We have to show the sequence is non decreasing and actually the sequence is increasing, that means. So we will consider uh, Sn plus 1. Now, Sn plus 1, n plus 1 term. So this is Sn. We have written like this expansion. We have written a particular term of this, k plus, k, uh, plus 1 term of this. Now, Sn plus 1 is 1 plus 1 upon n plus 1 to the power n plus 1 and the expansion of Sn plus 1 will contain uh, how many terms? n plus 2 terms. Uh, because if the power is uh, n, n, there will be n plus 1 terms in the expansion. One more term will contain n plus 2 terms. One more than Sn. That for Sn. And the k plus 1 term. The k, uh, this k, yes, k plus 1 term, the k plus uh, 1 term 
in the expansion of in the expansion of S n expansion of S n plus one is uh, now uh, we can consider this. This is the k plus one term in the expansion of S n and what will be the term corresponding term in the expansion of S n plus one? Just replace n by n plus one. So from S n we have replaced the n by n plus one to get S n plus one. And therefore that term is oh, 1 upon 1 upon 1 to there is no change in k. K will be the same. 1 minus 1 upon n plus 1. And 1 minus 2 divided by n plus 1. And so on. The last one will be 1 minus k minus 1 divided by n plus 1. So this is the corresponding term replacing n by n plus 1. Now we just want to compare uh, the term. Suppose this has 1 and now uh, uh, this is the same term. Now what about uh, this term 1 minus 1 by n and 1 minus 1 upon n plus 1 which is smaller and which is less. Now that is easy you see 1 minus 1 by n is less than 1 minus 1 by n plus 1 because here the denominator is uh, the denominator is greater, the term is smaller. So, smaller term is subtracted and therefore uh, this term is bigger. Or this can be checked like this. n is less than n plus 1. 1 by n, take the reciprocal, reverses. 1 upon n plus 1. And now, take the negative sign, again this reverses. And now add 1. So, 1 minus 1 by n is less than 1 minus 1 by n plus 1. So why we are considering this? Uh, that means this term is less than this term. Second in the uh, term in this expression, 1 minus 2 by n is less than 1 minus 2 divided by n plus 1. And therefore the expression in 1 is less than this expression. And that means Sn, Sn is less than or equal to Sn plus 1. So that we want to show. So this expression, the expression in 1 or the term in 1 is less than less than this term and therefore we have Sn is less than Sn plus 1 and this holds for all n. n belongs to R. Every term of S in, uh, Sn is less than the corresponding term of Sn plus 1 is n term is less than n plus 1 term. And this shows that the sequence Sn is increasing. So terms are increasing. So the nth term is smaller than n plus 1 term. So therefore Sn is and instead of an increasing, we say, or we can write less than or equal to here. Uh, Sn is non decreasing. Non decreasing sequence. So, thus uh, we have shown Sn is non decreasing sequence in the theorem. So, two conditions are required. First, it is non decreasing. And in the second part, we have to show it is bounded up. So, this part we have. Now we shall show it is bounded up. Next, Sn is Sn, and now we will consider Sn is uh, less than less than one plus one. No change in these two terms. This is also one. And uh, next we will consider we delete this this part and we will consider one into or you see this uh, the, the, this term general uh, if we divide by n square then this becomes one minus one by n. and therefore we shall consider one divided by one into two so this part is deleted and therefore uh, this is one upon one into two and therefore Sn is less than this term one divided by one into two plus and the next will be 1 divided by 3 factor 1, 2, 3, etc. Therefore, this Sn is less than this, this expression. 
or here is Sn, this is less than 1 plus 1 plus 1 into 1 divided by 1 into 2 and so on. Because this term is uh, 1 minus 1 by n, smaller divided by 1 into 2 and that is less than, this term is less than this term and further next term will be or this one, 1 upon 1 into 2 into 3 and so on. So finally, uh, we will write this uh, as well. Sn is less than so that is Sn is less than. And uh, here, uh, what uh, will be the last term? One upon one two of two n n factorial. Two factorial, three factorial. Last is n factorial. So Sn is uh, less than. Uh, 1 plus 1, we will keep this and 1 by 2, this also we should keep this and 1 upon 1, we should not write or 1, 2 in 2 plus and so on plus 1 upon 2, 2, etc. n minus 1 times because 1 is there. So, one, uh, if we remove 1, then 2, 2, uh, we have considered n minus 1 times. Every next term is replaced by 2. 3 is replaced by 2. Here it will be 1 uh, divided by 1 into 2 into 3 into 4. But 3, 4, etc. are replaced by 2. Each term is replaced and the expression becomes less than. For example, if we have 1 divided by 1 into 2 into 3 into 4, that is less than 1 uh, divided by 1 into 2 into 2. Now it is obvious because here the, the, these terms are greater and if the denominator is greater then it becomes smaller. So to compare this we have written like this and now that is Sn is less than or this we may write equal 1 plus and in bracket we will consider this remain 1 plus half plus this is 2 square and this last will be 1 upon 2 to the power n minus 1. In powers of 2 we have it and again uh, this is equal to 1 plus there is a, this is a geometric progression and uh, we can uh, use the formula for geometric progression the first term is 1 uh, 1 minus what is the common ratio is half for this so half raised to n and divided by 1 minus half that is 1 minus half using the formula. The formula for this is since a plus ar plus ar raised to n minus 1 is equal to a into bracket 1 minus formula for geometric progression a 1 minus r raised to n divided by 1 minus r. So this is the formula we have used here. So this is uh, further equal to, you may check this is equal to, uh, next is 1 plus, 1 plus and uh, this is 1 minus uh, uh, some term divided by 1 minus half is half. So it will be 1 plus 2 we can consider. So 1, uh, now that will be less than, strictly less than, so this is strictly less than 1 plus 1 divided by half or which is equal to 3. Here we have replaced this by whole expression by 1 and then that expression is less than 1. So this is 1 minus some number means less than 1. 1 and this is half. The formula used is written in bracket. So 1 plus 1 by half means this is 2. So 1 plus 2. So what is the, the left side? Sn. So as finally what we have shown, Sn is less than 3. And thus therefore the sequence Sn is less than 3 for n belongs to i and this shows that Sn is bounded, bounded above. The no term of the sequence is greater than 3, means the sequence has upper bound, upper bound and that can be considered as 3. So therefore Sn is bounded above. And thus, here earlier we have shown Sn is a non-decreasing sequence and, by, uh, and it is now bounded above. So that means Sn is 
non-decreasing sequence which is bounded above and by theorem 4 Sn must be convergent and therefore Sn is is a non-decreasing sequence which is bounded above and if a sequence is non-decreasing and bounded above then this theorem holds it is convergent We denote its limit by E. Its limit is denoted by the irrational number E. And therefore, limit of Sn, limit n tends to infinity of Sn means 1 plus 1 by n to the power n is equal to E. And E lies between 2 and 3. It is less than 3, yes, limit is less than 3 and it is, uh, 2 is out, uh, 2 is also less than that number and the approximate value is uh, 2.71887. So thus, uh, this is an important result, the limit of this type of sequence or this sequence, 1 plus 1 by n to the power n is equal to e. So, uh, remaining part we will continue uh, next time. Thank you.